try the food in front of you. Oh, yeah, I, just, I just got a Onde Onde. I found Onde Onde. Are you sure? Onde Onde. There's a curry puff. Yeah, there's a curry puff somewhere. Can you just smell durian or something? I grew up in an environment whereby uh, my family prefer to cook food at home. It just brings you back to when you're much younger. One of the snacks that I miss growing up with is Choki Choki. That's it. Oh, yeah. Choki Choki. Choki Choki. I think it never gets old. I love Milo. Oh. All, all sorts of variations of it. I can make ice cream with it. You can make, uh, you know, those condensed milk. It's, it's, it's a packet of, like, you put it in your mouth and then it just sparkles in your mouth. It oh. just sparkles. Oh, the pop, pop, pop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. call it. Back then, so we had to, uh, the kind of activities, perhaps uh, we played block catching. Try to hide in front of someone's house. Playing that. Tamiyaka. Anyone know of it? Oh. Yep, yep. A, a cup of teh tarik uh, uh, in Australia doesn't taste as good as the teh tarik in Singapore, yeah. right? So <laughs> they have all the chili flakes and everything. It, it, it is not, it is not uh, the same as eating a, eating a sambal. Hey, yeah. That's so <laughs> Singaporean. <Yeah. laughs> For sure, I, I miss the the security and the safety. But you see a Singaporean overseas, you immediately form like a bond with them. Many religion living together in harmony. That what makes uh, Singapore for me personally is is the best place to call home. We need to be aware that there are groups or individuals out there under circum certain circumstances, they are facing difficulties. Yeah, it'll be great to, to see you know, everyone labelled as just Singaporean. Yeah, that'd be great. Inclusivity in Singapore, let them decide as well how best they can contribute, be a participant in the conversation as well. Despite being uh, sitting on a table like this, uh, without knowing each other, Right? Uh, in the dark. I, we can already identify so much uh, um, commonalities, you know, between us. You know, uh, what more if we can do it in the, in the light? Hello. Hey, <laughs> hey guys. Hello. I have yeah. no That's where the do I am currently working as a social worker. I am uh, the imam. A religious teacher. I started an organisation supporting family caregivers that are caring for people with dementia. I'm with the GIFT community. What we do is that we try to bridge the needs of the underprivileged family. So I'm co-founder of Ford Coffee. Uh, I wonder whether you all notice I can't see at all. I'm actually blind. I'm not much of a leader actually. If you, you want to say leader, maybe leader of a music band. Oh, oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Malay, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese, but people say I look Chinese. Yeah, yeah. Lah, all the aunties are uh, neat. Neo, neo, chill, neo, neo. But you can respond, lah. Uh? Can, lah. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. Singapore, lah. Right. <laughs> Dining in the dark immediately takes away a certain level of barrier. I would say that I was pretty shocked, you know, when the lights came on and I realised that he was visually impaired. His aspirations and the things that he shared was no different from all of us. Um, and, and that was a realisation. You know, that, that really is not about your abilities or disabilities. Just starting off by, by, by talking about food, uh, talking about uh, our similar experiences, that kind of brought us together, even without knowing each other, you know, physically. Try to see beyond race or religion, see each person as a human being. Ultimately, that's what all we, all we are. By the end of the day, we share the same experience, we share the same reflection. I think that's the important point how you reflect as being a citizen in Singapore. When the lights came up and we, we could open our eyes, it wasn't the first thing to say, oh, which race this person was, right? It was, who, who is this person that I'm talking to who had so much common interests? I guess a key takeaway is, is to get to know more Singaporeans and share, share in our combined experiences growing up and make more friends and network and uh, live, a, live a more, more fulfilling life. Uh. Majulah Singapura. Singapura.